How to auto trace logos and bitmap graphics in Adobe Photoshop 2022. This is the latest version. Now, if you know Photoshop and maybe you know Illustrator, you know that up to this point, you had to use Adobe Illustrator to auto trace things. And believe it or not, from now on, you have this available to some extent in Photoshop. And that's the content aware auto trace. It's still an experimental tool. So you have to activate it first. So in order to do that, go to edit preferences and technology previews. And in the pop-up, check the box for enable content aware tracing tool. This is unchecked first. You have to check it. When you did that in the pen tool, when you hold down the mouse button, you will see content aware tracing tool. Now up to this point, you have to go in and trace this by hand. And if you're not really experienced with these Bezier handles, it's kind of a tedious task, okay? And now with this content aware tracing tool, watch what happens. It's really amazing. It will detect contrast. And when you click, it will create paths. And with just a few clicks, you can click through this logo here and create this path. And when you now select the path selection tool and select everything, as you can see, it has created this incredible, very accurate path. It does a really great job. It's incredible to have this available in Photoshop now. And when we hide these graphics, you see the path and which of course means you can scale this without losing any quality. I mean, this was again, let me, let me demonstrate. This was a, a bitmap graphic. When we zoom all the way in, you see all the pixels here having this traced and with paths now is absolutely incredible. And now you could of course go in and export this to Illustrator to take it further under file export paths to Illustrator. You would select the, the path that you just had created. When you say, okay, it will save out an Illustrator file. And this is a great way to trace logos within Photoshop without even leaving the, the program. You don't have to fire up Adobe Illustrator. You can do this in Photoshop. Now, of course, this is still experimental. Again, you have to enable it and under technology previews. And I'm pretty sure this will find its way into the default installation of Adobe Photoshop. This is the checkbox here. And when you hover over, over it, it will describe what it does, make paths or shapes following the edges in an image. Very powerful tool. Even if you don't have any plans to leave Photoshop, sometimes you have a very small logo and then you want to resize it. And of course, this will get pixelated when the base of this layer is a bitmap graphic and now being able to first trace this and then resize it that's golden of course let's see let's say we we have this and now when we create a selection from our work path and then fill that in a new layer you get the idea it will look much better than just than just scaling the original image up so that's the beauty of this that being said, I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please consider hitting the like button to help me promote my tutorials. And other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.